Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome on into the Rocket Arena for the first time in the 2023-2024 season. Thank you for joining us on Swamp Scott Big Blue Athletics, and from high above ice level, I am Dawson DeBerry, and we and I am with Josh Harriman. Josh, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good, Dawson. I'm pretty psyched about what's happening here tonight. I'm Beverly excited. versus Swamp Scott. Nothing can be better than this. Always a good matchup. Swamp Scott defeating them twice a season ago. So Beverly will be coming for revenge from last year. But for the Big Blue, their season and home opener here at The Rock, a very young team, including five eighth graders to go along with their five seniors. The first, the game is on as Beverly wins the draw on the puck, finds its way to Quinn Hitchcock in the defensive zone to Will Roddy trying to find Jackson Bartram. Hitchcock collects and circles back in and behind his own net. Quinn Hitchcock, the senior defenseman, a very worthy captain for this year. As the puck squirts free and sent back to the Swamp's got zone, where it goes through the legs of Roddy, the Entry is blocked by Rothwell. Roddy chips it in deep and now chases along with his line mate, Derek Faya. Bartram almost had a steal on the pass. Roddy dumps it back in deep. Bartram working on the left glass, throwing it towards the apron of the net, and it cries free. Roddy working along the glass against Bradley McAlpine. Beverly can't clear as Hitchcock does a nice job keeping it in momentarily, but it is chopped out of the zone by Ethan Haight, one of the captains of this Beverly roster. Hitchcock gets to the red line and dumps it in and will go for the first change of the year. Frankie Papalardo comes in for him along with Ben Tolosa. Greg Balchenkoff now on the left wing, thrown through the slot by Papalardo, just out of the reach of Ryan Frary. Now it comes back to the left point where Papalardo pinches his way in. Now a pinned up against the glass against Michael O'Leary. Puck squirts free. Balchikov was on that vacated side of the blue line and a good job by Tolosa 
coming over and helping. Delayed offsides, Beverly has to get out of the zone and now they all tag up. Papalardo trying to take it himself out of the zone and the puck deflected out of play. Also, when it comes to hockey, you got to know where your feet are and especially where your stick is because if your stick is in the wrong place at the wrong time, could be going for penalties here. And, def and like every sport, Dawson, I've been saying this for the past few, few seasons here with every game, penalties are not good whatsoever. And we get our first look at one of the five eighth graders on this varsity roster as it's an offside right off the draw. It is the left winger, Bo Oliveri, donning the number of Ronan Locke who had a 30-goal season a year ago for the Big Blue. He is on a line with Greg Balgenkoff and Ryan Freire. They'll serve as the second line for the Big Blue. Dakota Landrain out tonight. Bar Jackson Bartram replaces him on the first line. Nathan Wheeler collects it for the Panthers. Trying for a breakout pass. He got caught in the skates of Henry Mills, but now up the ice it comes with Kobe Malinick. Shot deflected off back glass. And now Balchenkov gets a clean exit, finds Freire in the middle of the ice, but a good stick lift from behind. That was Connor Wallace. Papalardo with a nice move through the neutral zone and will dump it in deep and go for a change. Bartram back out there. You'll see mainly two lines for the big blue. Fea, Bartram, and Roddy, and then Freire, Oliveri, and Balchenkov. Beverly forgets the puck at the blue line, and here comes Bartram up the left side. Gets hit into the glass by McAlpine. Roddy un behind the net, battling for it. Chipped ahead to Bradley McAlpine. And Ethan Haight's going to collect it. Wheels it behind his own net. Can't clear Ooh, the zone in a big hit. hit. That is Faya Rothwell now on the diving attempt at a shot. Couldn't get anything off. Oh, Faya threw it in front, but sticked away by the goalie, Peter Redman, before it could find Roddy Stick. Hitchcock, a great skater, takes it up the right side, takes the first shot on goal of the night, and Redman sticks it away easily. Faya gets knocked down in the corner. Roddy behind him to help. Faya trying to throw it in front for Bartram, nobody home. Now a battle in the corner, it's Simeone. Roddy throws it in front and it's knocked away and cleared by Kobe Malianic. Now a high shot goes above the head of the sophomore goalie, Dom Papalardo. Hitchcock looking for an Elwood, just gets it back to Freaky Papalardo, who throws it off the apron of the net. Dangerous play. Obviously not intentional, but he gathers it and takes it past the blue line. Gets knocked down, and now a attempted shot blocked by Hitchcock off of the stick of Michael O'Leary. Throws it in front, and good defensive back check by Bo Oliveri. Hitchcock's been out there for a while as Freire trying to get it to the middle and he does the Boa Oliveri, the eighth grader playing up on the varsity team. Dumps it in and floats it. Balchenkoff first to it, throws it in front, but nobody there but Kobe Mal Malinik. And now Michael O'Leary brings it up the right side. Pushed off the puck by Papalardo. Tolosa now in a battle, thrown in front. Balchenkoff picks off the pass. Freire couldn't get it out of the zone and Balchenkoff does, but it comes right to Malianic, who brings it up the middle. Excuse me, that was Robert Massa. And now alone on the other side of the ice, it's Bartram first to the puck. This fourth sided shot save. He score! Derek Fea on the rebound in the big blue. Take the one to nothing lead. Derek Fea from Jackson Bartram to put the big blue in front. One to nothing. That is something you definitely want to see, Dawson, in the first period of action. A goal from your home team against Beverly, who they won against twice in the season ago. Derek Fayo with his first goal of the senior year. Jackson Bartram with his first assist. And the Big Blue have an early 1-0 lead as Redmond had trouble with that rebound and a wide open net was left for Derek Fayo.
Pavolardo now in the corner. Gets it to Bartram ahead for Roddy. Roddy speeding up the middle, lost the handle, but gets it back. Roddy with the shot and a save by Redmond. Bartram battles forward along the boards and it gets freed up to Malianek. Malianek throws it all the way in on Pavolardo. Excuse me, that is Henry Mills. Found the goal, 5-17 in the first period. That's Thea from Bartram in 5-17. 9-11 to go in the first period. The Big Blue leading one to nothing. Beverly wins the offensive zone draw. Pouchkov's stick goes flying on the attempted shot out of Massa on the right point. But now here is Rothwell who banks a pass looking for Freire, but he couldn't get to it. Rothwell in a chase to the puck, finds Hitchcock, trying to find Oliveri, who couldn't control the pass cleanly, but it goes right back to Hitchcock. Hitchcock makes a nice move up the middle. Has an open Freire on the right wing. Two takes the three. shot. It got knocked off by the stick. And Redmond will cover for an offensive zone faceoff for the Big Blue. On the draw, it comes back to Rothwell, who shovels it to his own stick on the right point. Puck loose in the slot, kept in by Freire momentarily. But now to center for Hitchcock. Oliveri gets knocked down hard by Nathan Wheeler. Puck comes back to the left wing, fanning on the pass. And now taking it is Rothwell. Baljikoff had a tag back up, so he couldn't touch that puck. Wallace up ahead. Shot was blocked by the stick of Popolardo off the stick of Meza. Wheeler now makes a nice move to the left side. But the puck comes free for Ben Tolosa to Frankie Popolardo. Can't clear the zone initially. Fea comes back to help him. From his knees makes a pass to Ben Tolosa. Now it comes free to Fay in the slot. Shoot, save, rebound, and kept out of there by Redmond. At Two the right point, Tolosa, a tip shot. Roddy had the tip, and it's cleared by Beverly. Tripped up on the play was Henry Mills by Tolosa, and Beverly will get a power play with 7.15 to go in the first period. Dawson, with every good must come a bad. As we both knew at some point the penalty had to come out, and just as soon as the first period with the first goal of the game, the first penalty comes out. Two minutes for tripping. Beverly trying to set up their power play. The shot hit a body in front and came to the left boards. Hate with a shot from the left looking for a tip, never got through. Hitchcock shovels it to his own corner, can't clear the zone. Hate has it on the left wing. Goes across the slot, now back up top to Massa. Takes a shot, sticked away. Still in the zone, about 30 seconds into the power play. Now the shot from the left hits Hitchcock in front. Papalardo trying to clear, cannot get it all the way out. Off the skate of Fea, not past the blue line, it stays in. Massa shot, tipped all the way up and out of play, and it will be an offensive zone face-off for Beverly. Beverly getting some good zone time, 46 straight seconds to start the power play. And Beverly doing a great job keep, keeping themselves inside, inside Swampscott's zone, and Swampscott definitely doing a great job on defense. Dragic tie it up, and it comes out to the right point. Nice block by Bartram. He couldn't clear the zone, though, as he couldn't get a handle on it. Bowen now 
to the point. Now to the wing to Haight. Haight across the shot, save made by Papalardo, and Valjikov banks the pass to Bartram, who gets a clear. Now trying to just take as much time off as he can. Gets it to the opponent's blue line, but then Haight takes it away. Connor Wallace now, back pass to Haight. Haight with a short side shot, and it is squeezed by Papalardo as his mask comes off. And with 37 seconds left on the power play, they'll, they will get another offensive zone faceoff. The draw will be Fea versus Bowen. as there may be a little bit of an equipment issue from Papalardo. What have you liked from Swamp Scott so far? Honestly, Dawson, we both know and we can both agree on, especially that first goal in the first few minutes of the period. But honestly, the only the only downfall for right this is the power play Beverly has against Swamp Scott for tripping. Yep. But other than that, they've been doing so far. I can't, like I said, I can't predict the future in any game, but they, they're, it looks like they're in a good, they're in good position to start the season. Yep. Good clear right off the draw by Roddy. And Redmond has to collect behind his own net. Simeone will lead the rush. Now Bowen on the left wing, speeding past the defense. Now goes behind the net, looking for an outlet, maybe a shot. 15 seconds left on the power play. Simeone back to Bowen with 10 on the power play. Shot is blocked nicely by Papalardo, but it comes right back, and that one's blocked by Rothwell. And now the penalty expires Beverly as back Tolosa to back on the ice. Pass thrown in front, and a collision, and the net comes off. We'll see if anything comes of that as Roddy, Papalardo, and I believe that's O'Leary got tied up in front of P Dominic Papalardo. Dominic, the younger brother of the senior defenseman, Frank Papalardo. Had a good freshman season last year, splitting time with Jason Buffard, who hit, is injured. So the backup goalie tonight, if anything happens to Papalardo, would be number 22, Adrian Bander. Good chip pass from Freire Hitchcock, all the way up in the blue line, trying to get there it's first. It's a two on one. Hitchcock very aggressively in the offensive zone. Doing a nice job keeping it alive. Bo Oliveri with a shot and a save by Redmond. A great shot on goal, but he's unsuccessful. 4.48 to go in the opening frame. Swamp Scott leading one to nothing on the season opening goal from Derek Fea. Off the draw, it comes to the neutral zone. Pass just a little bit too far and Malione collects. Hitchcock behind his own net, gets it to Jason Rothwell, who fans on his pass. Puck thrown in front, off the skate of Hitchcock, puck's loose in front, saved by Papalardo, still loose, battling for it, and Hitchcock controls it in the corner and fires it all the way down the ice, which will go for an icing, scary moment there for the Big Blue, and they will have a defensive zone faceoff. But unlike the NHL, they can change after an icing. Beverly wins the draw. The shot from the left point never got through to Papalardo. It's still loose in front. And now back to the point at Simeone. And now Bowen, nice play there by, that is Derek Fayas feeding up the left wing. Looking for an outlet, finds one in Jackson Bartram. It comes to Roddy, free in the slot, the shot. A stick lift from behind by Ethan Haight negated that opportunity. And now Derek Fea. Sweeps it into the big blue offensive zone. Redmond steers it to his defenseman. That is Robert Massa, who takes it himself up the left wing, goes through the slot, saved by Pavlardo. Juicy rebound in front, taken by Bartram. And now Will Roddy speeding up the left side. Trying to flip for Bartram in the middle, and he could not handle it cleanly. Ooh. 
bad turnover there, but Popolardo recovers to defend Haight. Bowen, Tolosa, can't clear. Roddy trying to chip it out, and Faya does. He goes for a change now. Second line back out there. Beverly trying to catch them in the middle of it. Hitchcock back on the ice. Gets knocked down momentarily. Lost an edge, perhaps. And now here comes Ryan Frary. Chipping it, trying to get it to himself. And he does. And he takes a shot from the right wing. Save made. Thrown back in front. Still loose behind the net. A good solo rush there from Ryan Frary to get an opportunity. Opportunity. Now in the middle, this is Michael O'Leary. Rothwell pushes him off the puck. Greg Valdrikoff steers it to Quinn Hitchcock. Bo Oliveri can't get the pass through and Hitchcock recovers it. Hitchcock off the glass, trying to find Freire, a little bit too hard off the glass. Hitchcock throws it through the slot, nobody home. Hitchcock was deep in the zone and now it's a one-on-one -on -one rush with Roddy, the only man back. And that is O'Leary who lost an edge and we have a whistle. We'll see if it was a tripping penalty or something else. I believe it is. I believe it's gonna be a trip. No, it's not. It's just an you know, offsides maybe. Not sure exactly what the whistle was for, but with 157 to go in the first period, it'll be a, a face off which Fea takes. Bartram along the boards. Puck comes free and now a two on one rush save made by Papalardo. Couldn't squeeze the rebound on the shot from Henry Mills. Puck not cleared out of zone yet. Shot caught by Rothwell but then he stepped on the puck, lost his footing. Puck freed to the opposing blue line. No icing. Papalardo's pass too far for Rothwell. Papalardo kicks it to Roddy, who gets it to Jackson Bartram on the left wing. Bartram trying to take it middle, gets his pocket picked by Henry Mills. Kept in nicely at the blue line by Bo Oliveri. One minute to go in the period as Balchikov pins it along the glass, trying to make a pass. Oliveri can't free it up enough. Freire throws it in front and the entire net collapses as Freire was pushed <laughs> into the back of the net and Redmond all he could do was put his hands up and hope he didn't get crushed by the net. But that's a stoppage. Water bottle came flying and Teddy Fisher just grabs it and takes a sip <laughs> and puts it back on the net. But Dawson, the call earlier before was in fact an offsides on it Beverly. Was? Okay. Thank you. And especially every single time I go to talk, I'm hearing pads hit the boards. Yeah. That's well, how you know Swamp Scott and Beverly are here not physical. just to mess around. They're here to win. Baljikov wins the draw cleanly to Hitchcock, who puts it into the corner for Freire, battling against Fisher. Freire on the left side. Hate gets it to Bow Bowen. Bowen trying to make a move around Hitchcock, could not. But that gets taken away, I believe it's Papalardo, excuse me. And Dominic squeezes it and will take a face off with 15 seconds to go in the first period. Faya gets kicked out of the draw, and Jackson Bartram will take it. Beverly wins it cleanly. The shot save made by Papalardo. Rebound free. Puck flew over the net on the rebound. Five seconds to go in the period, and Faya's just going to pin it along the glass to waste the final five seconds. And just how the period started, Faya had control of it, and he has the only goal of the game so far. One to nothing, Swamps got after one. We will be right back after the first intermission.
welcome back into the Rocket Arena where the Big Blue are leading the Beverly Panthers one to nothing after the opening goal by Derek Fea off the assist by Jackson Bartram. Josh, what did you like from that sec uh, first period? Honestly, Dawson, you said it all, especially the teamwork both teams are having in the first period first period of, the, of action here, especially it being their first opening game. It's just, it's, it's good to see that everybody's starting off pretty strong. Roddy gets knocked down. And the puck goes into the corner for Quinn Hitchcock. Finds his D partner, Jason Rothwell. Rothwell now had to retreat back into his own corner. Hitchcock looking for an outlet to clear the zone and he's just gonna take it himself. Right up the middle he goes, now on the right wing. He's been aggressive all night entering the offensive zone and he got caught up in the zone after he got knocked down by both an official and a Beverly player. Swamp Scott just playing with two lines as we see the second one here early in the second period. Maybe that was a point of emphasis. They seem to be getting a little bit tired in the first period, so maybe some shorter shifts to come in the second period. Popolardo battling for it along the glass, and it gets taken away by Michael O'Leary, who leads a two-on-two -two rush with Prairie, filling in for Popolardo. O'Leary has it in the corner, takes it behind the net, throws it in front off the apron of the goal. Shot on goal missed by Beverly. Puck trundles in on Popolardo. Frankie Popolardo tried to take it away, but O'Leary kicked his pocket. Tolosa in a battle with him on the, along the corner. And now an open shot from the wing from Meza goes high. Papuardo can't chop it down, and it's Alexiev. Now along the boards, Baldenkopf backhands it out of the zone. No icing. Both teams head for a change. Beverly now at the two-on-two -two rush. Shot blocked by the stick of Papuardo. Quick to the puck is Beverly, and it gets sandwiched in between the pads of Papalardo. And he gets a whistle. Papalardo doing some great saving. Malionic was the one leading that break. Beverly wins the draw on the shot right off of Roddy off the draw. He's a little shaken up momentarily, but he got up and will stay on the ice. Now up the middle comes Massa. Throws it through the slot. Jason Rothwell battling along the end boards and it will slide all the way through the slot and into the waiting arms of Redmond. Pass stolen by Bartram and Fea collects the loose puck and he flips it on net and Redmond makes the easy grab and will take the face off. A little bit of pushing and shoving in front, but it will go for a face off. Rothwell speeding to keep it in but could not. Now we'll go D to D to Hitchcock. His pass is stolen but Beverly well off sides. And it goes to Hitchcock as they tag up. Pass through the skates of Bartram. And now Roddy collects it along the blue line. Tipped ahead by Bartram. As Nathan Wheeler goes in on Wheeler. Bartram has it along the back glass, looking for a pass into the slot. It got deflected away and taken away by Beverly. Now a two-on-one rush. Hitchcock, the only defense back for the Big Blue. The, and a good back check. That's Will Roddy lifting the stick of Ethan Haight to break up the two-on-one, still with a shot on an impossible angle and a save made by Papalardo. Hey. 
Fisher trying to keep it in along the left point, and Roddy couldn't get it out as it came to the slot, and Fea takes it away. Roddy avoids the hit nicely, and now a two-on-two -two rush as Bartram went for a change. Papalardo was in on the rush. Roddy goes for a change as well as Oliveri fires it just a bit wide. Fea, still on the ice, gets it to Freire, but then he turns it over, and a long diagonal pass goes awry, and it is steered away by Papalardo, but Tolosa couldn't handle his pass. A nice hit by Freire along the glass. Pa Tolosa couldn't get it out. Now open with a lane to fire and a shot and a nice save by Dominic Papalardo, who squared up nicely on O'Leary. He's done a great job in net. Yes, he has. Everybody has done. Well, I have no idea what I'm saying right here. But both teams are, like I've been saying before, Dawson, both teams are doing great on passing. But the thing is, you got to know where your man is and time it perfectly and to get it to your teammate and score. Puck would not sit still at the point for Simeone in the big blue clear. Bo very up the right side, dumps it in. Baljikov's gonna be first to it, met by Simeone, dumps it to Freire. Puck loose at the blue line, and a big hit by Papalardo is gonna be a penalty. It's gonna go as elbowing on Frankie Papalardo, and that will put the big blue on the penalty kill for the second time tonight. Beverly, 0 for 1 on the power play with three shots. Beverly has outshot the big blue, I will say that. Not much offense going for the big blue. So the big blue with a, a, will play a man down with 10-16 to go in the second period. Ethan Haight now on the left wing. Gets it back up top. Massa with a shot pass for the one-timer by Bowen and it is gloved by Papalardo. Papalotto is having is letting no pucks get behind him today. Especially especially Beverly having his their second power play of the game tonight. A clean face-off win by Fea and Rothwell fires it all the way down the ice. Massa circles the wagon in the defensive zone and now takes it up himself. Gets by Fea, collected at the blue line. Meza now, Meza takes it to the left side, stick handle through defenders, and he scores to tie the game up. A nice move to get through the big blue defense, and finally someone beats Papalardo, and this game is tied at one. Jonathan Meza gets the Panthers on the board to tie the game up. Dawson, after that goal, both teams are back to even strength. Back to even strength. Now the Big Blue will look to respond. Now we have Zach Zolads taking the draw for the new third line. It is. Two eighth graders and Joey Pilot out on the ice for a shift, giving the other two lines a little bit of a break. As here is Zolads on the left wing, is just gonna put, uh, that's Pilot, excuse me, puts it in to the big blue zone. Hitchcock collects, fires it looking for Cam Gold, but he could not collect the puck. And now Beverly on a rush, two on two they come. Shot well high out of Malione. Puck thrown back in front of Hitchcock right there to take it away. And now he's gonna take it up the ice himself. Speeds past Pilot, taking it up the slot. Couldn't find an angle to get a shot off. Now the second line back out there. Gold battling for it along the boards. Couldn't gain control of it and now a three on three developing and offsides where the Panthers. 
So 8.15 to go in the second period. Beverly responds with the game tying goal from Jonathan Meza on the power play to knock this game up at one. They blew not as sharp in this period. Tolosa passed too far for Ryan Freire and it's collected by Ryan Everett. Now up the zone, that is Ethan Haight. Shot never got through the stick of Popolardo and now Bo Oliveri has a seam to take it up the ice, gets it to Valjenkoff, who tries to tip it ahead for himself just a little bit too far. And it comes to Popolardo at center, makes a nice move around one, gets it by the second and we'll just toss it on net and get an offensive zone faceoff as Redmond covers. Fea wins the draw and Bartram gets it back to Papalardo who throws it near the net, loose in front. Fea couldn't control it. And now here's Meza once again, hit off the puck by Jackson Bartram. Papalardo having some trouble with it behind, gets it ahead for Bartram who gets it to Fea, looking for Roddy in the slot and could not get to the puck first. And now a bad pass will force Simeone to take it all the way around his own net. is gonna win that race to the puck, and he does. And Meza can't clear the zone. Popolardo keeps it in. Bartram diving to try to keep it alive, cannot. And now this is Alexia down the left side, drops it, drops a pass. Save made by Popolardo. Rebound behind the net, comes to the slot, and another penalty gonna go against the Big Blue, their third of the night. And this time it's gonna be the captain, Derek Fay, one of the staples of their penalty kill. So he will go to the box for two minutes where the Beverly Panthers scored their only goal of the night on their power play. That has been one of the biggest downsides of the Big Blues game tonight. Yeah, Dawson, penalties can, can, can hurt you now, but it will definitely affect you in the long run, especially when it's a power play. Owen's going to take the draw against Will Roddy stepping in for Fea. He wins the draw cleanly to Hitchcock and he fires it 200 feet down the ice nicely. So a good start to the penalty kill. Redmond threw it in front of his own net. Dangerous play, but it's collected. Bowen now up the left side, looking for an angle to take a shot. Now we'll take it behind the net. Bowen will get it back to the point. Simeone to Bowen. Very patient, Beverly on the power play, keeping it in the zone. Simeone to Haight. Ethan Haight to Bowen. Bowen the shot, a lot of traffic in front and a whistle. And I believe they're calling some sort of goalie interference and it will come outside the Beverly zone. 1.18 to go on the power play. Dawson, especially with a power play with only a minute 18 left until even strength, you got to think strategically and you got to think fast. Roddy wins another power penalty kill draw to Hitchcock and he clears it all the way down the ice. Roddy doing a good job filling in for Fea at that penalty kill face off spot. Now Bowen speeding up the left side. It's going to take it around the net once again and set up their umbrella. Simeone to Bowen. 
Haight taps his stick across the slot. Now gets it from Simeone. Haight, pass tipped by Bartram, but it gets through to Bowen. 35 seconds to go on the power play. Haight up top looking for a tip in front. It gets tipped to the corner. Hitchcock fires it to the open side. Can they keep it in? They cannot. Roddy now get, trying to get it deeper, trying to kill as much time as possible, and they get it to the blue line. And now Roddy has to speed off for a change. 20 seconds to go on the power play. Bartram battling. Now we'll go for a change as Bowen brings it up again for this Beverly power play. Bowen gets to his spot on the right wing, tosses it up top to Simeone, the shot saved by Papalotto. Rebound in front, loose, still loose, another save. Still loose in front. Battling for it, Baljikov bats it to the end of the corner and now Feo on a breakaway. Out, stretch out of the box, he shoots, save, rebound, score! Derek Feo for the second time of the night, fresh out of the box. Pops another one in the big blue, regain the lead, two to one. That is definitely everybody here on Swampscott wants to see somebody straight out of the box right as power play ends in the in defensive zone for Beverly. And let's, let's not forget to shout out one, Dominic Papalardo made three huge saves Great to end magnificent power play. saves. And Greg Baljankov with a heads up play to find Derek Fea streaking down the ice for his second of the night. Two to one with 440 left. Swamp Oh, bad turnover by Tolosa, but thankfully Pop Lardo there to stop it. Bo Oliveri clears the zone, but can't keep control. I will say, today in school I was talking to Derek and he did predict a hat trick for himself. So, he has a period and four minutes to get another goal to fulfill his promise to me earlier today. It better happen, Dawson. Ryan Frey with a nice move to get around one, takes a shot from the short angle. Puck squirts free in front. Oliveri trying to get it to Baldenkoff, cannot. Malionic. Can't get it out of the zone. Valjankov trying to go to the point to Tolosa. That was a tough play. There was two Beverly defenders converging on him. Does a nice job to avoid a bad breakout, but now they still have a rush. Move up the middle. Shot goes wide. Great Prairie now. Fires it off the glass and will not get far enough for an icing, so Massa will have to collect and find a man. He does in Malione. And now Ethan hate the shot wide. Now at the right point, the shot tipped and a goal! Beverly responds quickly. What a nice tip by Logan Bowen. And this game is tied two to two. That was a beautiful tip on the initial shot. Nothing Papalardo could do there in this game very quickly is tied up two to two. Faya ties up the draw and Bartram will fire it all the way in on Redmond who steers it to the corner where Bartram will battle against Thomas Simeone. And now they free the puck. This is Mezzo speeding up the right side. Gets by Hitchcock, but Fea right there, the second layer of defense. Beverly goal scored by number seven, Logan Bowen. Assisted by number 16. Jackson Bartram. To, to, will Roddy has Fea behind him. Throws it in front, Bartram the back in a nice save by Redmond. Bartram trying to pin it in. And the whistle blows as Redmond covers and Bartram gets pummeled by a couple of Beverly defenders. A great movement by Bartram right there. 2.29 to go in the second period. We have a good one here at the Rock to start the season. Two to two game, Derek Feyab scoring both the goals for the Big Blue, but Logan Bowen just a moment ago tied it up with a disgusting tip off the shot from the from the point. Oh. 
Bale wins the draw to Bartram. Finds Hitchcock on the point who tips it back in deep. Roddy lost his footing and the puck comes to Beverly. Puck gets by Hitchcock. First to it is gonna be Malionic, but an icing prior as Rothwell was first to the red line. Two fifteen to go in the second period. Dawson, icing can go both ways. It can either be good for you or it can be bad for you. Especially for Beverly, as they just scored a goal and just caught, get called icing on. Now Swamp Sky has a higher chance of scoring. Puck tangled up at the dot. Fea couldn't get his stick free to control it. Malionic puts it into the corner. Oh, a bad turnover by the Big Blue. The shot save, rebound, another save. Pavlardo standing on his head and finds it to cover. Dangerous moment for the Big Blue, but the game stays tied. Couldn't tell if that was a pass for Beverly or a turnover. I didn't get a great look on who. Neither did I, but, a lot, of but a lot of fighting in front of the goal. Yeah. Pavlardo officially. That was officially. a great initial save on the shot from the slot by Malionic. Lasso, who just had the assist on the Bowen goal. Throws it in front, Bowen, oh! Beautiful saves by Papalardo, he made two on the doorstep. Swanscott's got to clear the zone, their goalie's keeping them in it right now. Two huge saves right on the doorstep on a goal scorer with confidence. Papalardo has it in the corner. Now has room to clear the zone. He's got Freire and Baljikov to his right. He finds Freire. Freire going around the right side. Makes a nice move. The shot and a save by Redmond who had the angle. Now an odd man rush. Baljikov does a nice job filling in for Popolardo. Gets the poke check and gets control. Puck comes to Popolardo. Good four check by Beverly. But Popolardo freed the puck for Oliveri. Last minute to play in the second period. Greg Baljankov into the corner, throws it in front, but his line mates were going for a change. First line back out there as Massa gets by Hitchcock initially, but Hitchcock steered it to the corner. Pass in front, Hate with a shot saved by Popolardo with the left pad, or the right pad. Pass stolen by Bartram, he tips it for Fea. Looking for the hat trick, gets knocked down nicely. Good defensive play by Beverly. And now a nice move around one, that is O'Leary, O'Leary. To Meza, can't get to him. 10 seconds to go in the period. Shoveled into the big blue zone, Hitchcock gonna just take it for a spin and pin it along the glass, two seconds, and that's gonna do it for the second period. The Big Blue got an electrifying goal from Derek Fea, but just a minute later, Beverly responded with the goal from Logan Bowen. And after two periods, we are still deadlocked, two to two. It's still anybody's game, dog.
Welcome back into the Rocket Arena where the Big Blue and the Beverly Panthers are knotted up after 30 minutes, two to two. Derek Faya has scored both goals for the Big Blue, but Beverly keeps responding and they have knotted this one up. Josh, what did the Big Blue have to do in this period to win this game? Honestly, the first thing is definitely stay out of that box. Nobody yep. likes to be in that box for two minutes. Three penalties on the Big Blue, zero on the Panthers. But Dawson, other than that, they've been doing a great job passing, definitely a great job scoring. And honestly, they've been doing fantastic for the first opening night. But they will try to start the season 1-0, trying not to spoil their home opener as Massa takes it right off the opening draw, blocked by Hitchcock. Rothwell raced to the puck in the corner. He got there first, but Beverly takes control. Hitchcock to Rothwell, to Faya, to Roddy. Past the red line and he dumps it in. Bartram first to it. Passes it behind the back to himself. Tied up in the corner, now Roddy with him to Bartram, Bartram battling and taken away by McAlpine and he lost an edge it looked like. And the big blue change off. Hitchcock, once again aggressive trying to make a play. Now Beverly has it and Fail will collect behind the net. Just Bartram went off on that change, by the way. Roddy and Fail still out there. Now a pass in front and shot well high and out of play from Jonathan Meza. Dawson, one thing I've also seen from both teams is the very hard hitting that they have to, get, have to do to get to the puck, especially the heavy slap shots they do towards the goal. Puck comes free to Baljinkov, who has Oliveri on a two-on-one. Baljinkov is going to pass it across, but a good defensive play. That was Teddy Fisher getting back in the play. Ben Tolosa trying to get it towards goal, and it's blocked and taken by Michael O'Leary. O'Leary's up the left side, somehow kept that on sides, and now shot goes well wide. Hitchcock, or Tolosa, I mean, on the puck. Ben Tolosa across the ice for Ryan Frary, who gets hit by Fisher, and the puck comes free. That's gonna go for an icing, and the Big Blue will get an offensive zone face-off, and the first line comes right back over those boards. 12.51 to go in regulation, still tied up two to two. Beverly wins the draw and Massa has control of it. Roddy blocked the pass, but Massa keeps control of it. Their sticks get tangled up. Massa falls down. Puck stays in the big blue zone. Rothwell kept it in, so Roddy was onside. Fanning on the initial attempt on the pass is Malionic, but he got it away the second time. The puck stays in. Fea kept it alive, but now here comes Beverly on a three on two. Roddy getting back in the play. Good defensive work by Jason Rothwell. And now on the attack, it's Jackson Bartram off the left side. Bartram trying to get around Massa, cannot. Malionic fires it around to Barr. And now Fea will collect and start the rush himself. Derek Fea gets hit off the puck by Ethan Haight, a great defensive play. Cannot clear the zone. And Good stick lift and clear by Quinn Hitchcock. It's just what he does. He is a true stud for this big blue team. Ethan Hay takes the shot, sticked away to back glass by Dominic Papalardo. Hitchcock flips it 
can't clear, is caught at the point. That was Fisher. And now shot off of the skate of Hitchcock and pops to the corner. Now to the, it's Fisher again at the point, looking for a tip, he gets one, and it just goes wide. Hitchcock in a battle with Bowers. Bowen, excuse me. Frankie Papalardo gets it to Quinn Hitchcock. Hitch Hitchcock's been out there a long time, trying to find a time to get off the ice. And now Ferry will clear and Hitchcock will get his way to the bench. And so will Ferry's line. A full wholesale change for the big blue. 10.40 to go in the game. The shot from Meza who has a Golden Knights off the pad of Papalardo and cleared to the corner by Tolosa. Thrown back in by Bowen. The puck came out of the zone, so Beverly must tag up. They do, and a big hit on Fea there on the play by Meza. Offside, delay. Beverly once again had a tag up, which allows Swapscott to get the puck to Bartram, but he loses the handle to Massa. Puck squirts out of the big blue zone. Roddy going against the boards with O'Leary. They can't find the puck, and it is found by Beverly first. Massa down the right wing, met by Papalardo, but he gets by him into the corner, throws it through the slot, all the way to the point. The shot blocked down, never got through. Now thrown past Papalardo wide. Tolosa chips it to the glass where Bartram is. Bank pass too far along the glass for Roddy. And Bartram clears and will go for a change. Roddy's still chasing as two out of the three second line members are on the ice. And now here comes Beverly. Pass, can't connect and it goes to Hitchcock. Rothwell will get it back to Hitchy. We'll see if he can make a play with his great skating ability. He takes it up the left side. Hitchcock takes it behind the net looking for an outlet. Chips it for Frary, trying to get it back down deep for Hitchcock, cannot. Rothwell now pinching, and now Baljikov, the only one back. It's a three on one for Beverly. Baljikov, not a traditional defender, but he makes the initial play. Slowing down the three on one, and a nice play by Rothwell to get the control of the puck. That is a great job by Greg Baljikov, who has been having a good night, has the assist on one of Faye's goals. Dawson, you gotta do anything. You gotta do anything, and anything will necessary to get the puck for your team. 8.30 to go in the game. It is the third period, not accurate on the scoreboard. Here at the Rocket Arena. Hitchcock in the corner. Goes D to D with Rothwell, back to Hitchcock. Hitchcock finds Rothwell. Has Baljankov in the middle, he finds him. Baljankov up the left wing, holds to his forehand. Now trying to get it back down deep, can't get full control of it. Bo Oliveri was tied up out front with Fisher. Now Hitchcock will collect as Baldenkoff and Oliveri go for a change. Papalardo's pass never got through to Roddy and it's sent back in behind Dominic Papalardo where Hitchcock will control it. To Jackson Bartram. Jackson Bartram to Derek Fea. Pass goes through the stick. And Massa clears it away to Ethan Haight, who gets it back into the Swamp Scott zone. We are entering crunch time here at the Rocket Arena, still tied up two to two. Hitchcock in a battle behind the net, Papalardo aids him. Puck too far for Bartram to get to. And it comes to Roddy where he just dumps it in. And Beverly collects. Puck freed up at the red line. Roddy has it. Papalardo now cannot clear the zone. Bowen, who has a gold knight, throws it through the slot dangerously, but nobody home for Beverly. Bowen off of two sticks and pops straight up in the air to the wing. Shot blocked off the skate of Papalardo. That one hit got him good. Now on the wraparound, thrown in front. Roddy takes it away and now tries to start the rush. Bartram needs a change and he takes it. Here's Roddy. And he was offside. 
and the Big Blue will change. Big Blue seem to be tiring out, just playing 10 players for most of the game. We've seen one shift out of the third line, Cameron Goal, Joey Pilot, and Zach Zolads. But mainly just the six forwards and four defensemen. And now Meza takes it away. Toloso with a great poke check to get it to the boards. Nathan Wheeler dumps it to the cross corner. Pass behind Tolosa, but Baljapov was there for the big blue. Now here comes Ryan Freire up the ice. He has Oliveri to his left. Freire gets around one, shoots, and it goes wide. Beverly on the counterattack. Swamp's got fresh defensemen on the ice. Hitchcock collects. Good back check from Baljankov. Freire now to Oliveri. We'll dump it in where it is collected by Everett. Puck still not out of the zone, and now they will get an easy clear with Masa. Or excuse me, that is that is Wheeler. Wheeler takes it away momentarily from Rothwell, but it gets all the way through. Roddy in pursuit. And Bartram gets the steal at the blue line. Roddy stays on sides nicely. Roddy to Bartram, the shot save made by Redmond. The first time he's been tested here in the third period. And he's equal to the task as it's cleared away. As we have our first rumblings from the Big Blue student section as they've been quiet for most of the night. Two to two game with five minutes to go. Hitchcock, oh, pass stolen by Bowen, Bowen. Has an angle to shoot, and it goes high and wide. Hitchcock first to it in the corner. Chips it ahead looking for Roddy, but just a little bit too far. Long time without a stoppage here. Long time of consecutive play. Bartram dropped his stick. Roddy went for a chain. Freire's out on the ice with Thea and Bartram. Tipped by Hate at the red line, so no icing. Papalardo in the corner, controls, and he gets it to Freire, who has open ice. Just off the bench, a new defender for Beverly. The shot by Freire off the stick, and out of play off the stick of Nathan Wheeler. And finally, we have a stoppage for Josh to talk a little bit about what's happened. <laughs> Thank you, Dawson. I feel really appreciated now. Yeah, I need a second. <laughs> uh, but now, honestly, honestly, as I said earlier before the period started, honestly, they're still playing magnificent. And it's just you got to control the puck more, definitely keep – your stick in your hands you don't want to drop it numerous <laughs> times on the ice <laughs> but other than that they've been playing honestly I, I don't have to recap on anything they just they've been doing magnificent both teams Beverly wins the draw Wheeler to Fisher and Fisher hits one of his teammates on the bench and there will be a face off inside the Beverly zone not ideal for Beverly there but 404 to go but really ideal for Swamps out there. Ideal for Swamps go, yes. They get a second chance at the offensive zone faceoff. Baljankov wins it this time to Papalardo. Goes D to D with Tolosa. Shot goes over the net. 3.55 to go. Ryan Freire battling in the corner. Taken away there. Thrown through the slot by Oliveri, but stolen away. Meza up the middle, and the shot is deflected high and out of play off the stick of Connor Wallace. With 3.37 to go in the game, the first line of the Big Blue heads back out there, deadlocked in a 2-2 two -to -two tie. Shot right off the draw, saved by Papalardo, and he covers for a faceoff. Very risky play by Beverly. Fail wins the defensive zone draw. Hitchcock trying to send Roddy on the fly. Roddy wins the race. Oh, and a good stick check from behind. What a clutch play from Thomas Simeone, and now Beverly. Speeding down the ice on their own. And 
Rothwell with a good job, a big hit. Puck loose, no call. Hitchcock, pass, Bartram. Bartram racing with Massa. Massa now with the long diagonal will go for an icing as it went well, through the stick of Ethan Haight as we go up and down the ice at the Rock. Roddy had a chance, but a beautiful defensive play by Simeone to lift the stick. 2.58 to go. Two to two on opening night. It's still anybody's game, Dawson. It's just you got to, during like, especially with a little under three minutes left, you still got to like tighten it down and definitely put, hit the hammer on the head. Absolutely, Josh. Talosa couldn't get much on the pass, but it got to Freire nonetheless. 2.45 to go. Now up the ice, here comes Bowen. Bowen makes a move around Tolosa, but Tolosa steered it to the corner. Pass into the slot, goes right into the waiting hands of Oliveri. Now Ryan Freire makes a move around one, keeps it alive into the corner. Freire battling now and taken away by Wheeler. And now here comes Ethan Haight on the three on two, developing Ethan Haight up the middle. Takes the shot blocked by Popolardo and it gets caught in his equipment. Puck comes free, the shot saved by Popolardo, loose in front, still loose. And somewhere underneath that is the puck. It now comes behind the net, bodies flying everywhere. It's Tolosa battling and grinding for it. And he finally gets control. And Freire was forced to ice it. But maybe for the good of the Big Blue, they're able to change. 152 in the game, the Beverly Panthers will get a chance to get an offensive zone faceoff. Pablo Arro's been great in that all night. He's been doing magnificent as goalie. Only let two goals be past him, but one honestly. Of one of them he couldn't really do much because of the tip as well, so. And as Dustin, you were saying earlier, bodies flying behind the goalie. I think the Zambodi was a little bit behind there, a little bit too long. <laughs> <laughs> Roddy in a chase for the puck with Simeone. Couldn't chip it up front. And now Meza has it. Meza pulls it back and looking for a pass stolen by Fail. Fail loses his footing, battling for the puck now with Roddy. Roddy pries it free. Roddy behind the net. Drop pass for Fail a little bit too far, but Fail gets there. Meza battling with Roddy. Fail. In front of Bartram, the backhand and a glove save by Redmond with 1.19 to go. I'm sorry, that was Roddy in front. It was Bartram battling, I think. And we have a timeout. Swamp Scott with 1.19 to go in regulation. Dawson, honestly, I think it was great for the Swamp Scott to call a timeout right here, especially with 119 left here in the third. It gives him a chance to be like, okay, we got to think, we got to do this, but we got to make this happen. Yeah. I wonder what Coach Fea will draw up in that huddle. They have an offensive zone faceoff. Obviously, for the play to happen, they need to win the faceoff. It'll be a big one between Fea. Excuse me, Fea. And we'll see who Beverly runs out there. I believe that is um, Malionic. Fail wins the draw, but Beverly first to the puck. Hitchcock does a nice job pinching to keep it in the zone. Roddy trying to get it behind the net. Nobody home. Now up, coming up the ice, that is Henry Mills. Mills. Now a shot from a tough angle save made by the toe of Papalardo. One minute, the One minute to go in regulation. Jackson Bartram dumps it in deep. Swamscott in pursuit. Puck's going to come to Papalardo with a left point. 
pass never got to Bartram. Came to Papalardo. His wrist shot attempt was blocked in front and big lure offside, so Roddy could not touch that puck. Bad pass by Beverly. He's going to go all the way in on Papalardo with 30 seconds to go. Frankie Papalardo is going to start the rush. Getting pressured by Beverly. Nicely thrown in front through the slot. Nobody there. 18 seconds to go. Massa controls for Beverly. 15 seconds to go. Ooh, bad pass and a turnover. Beverly's got a 2 on 0. They get it in front. Saved by Papalardo. Ooh. Almost a costly turnover with five seconds to go, but five seconds from an extra period. Games can end in ties. As yes, well. they can. There will be a five minute overtime period of five on five. And draw is blown dead as someone went early. I believe it was Faya, and he gets kicked out of the draw. Roddy will take it. 5.3 will go back on the clock. Beverly wins the draw. The shot blocked by Frankie Papalardo. He paid the price for that one. He just stands in front of everything. And his brother covers with 1.9 to go. That one got him good. That did get him good. If it wasn't for Papalardo, it would be all over right now. Now the draw gets tied up, and we are going to overtime on opening night. Here at the Rock, it'll be five minutes of extra time. Both teams will get a point anyway, but the winner will secure two. We head to the final five minutes of the season opener. It's overtime. The Big Blue and the Beverly Panthers deadlocked at two after 45 minutes. And it is a four on four in overtime in high school. I think I misspoke, said five on five. So they will send out Roddy, Faya, Rothwell, and Hitchcock. So two forwards, two defensemen. Beverly wins the opening draw and takes possession. Fanning on the pass there was Massa. And now here comes Bowen. Bowen up the middle, goes to his left, throws it in front, a block by Hitchcock in front. What a rush by Bowen there. Now gets it up top to Massa, back to Bowen. Has a goal tonight, takes the shot, save by Papalardo. Papalotto looked back thinking ha had a mini heart attack there, <laughs> thinking as it went through, but, his, but the goal is unsuccessful as he saves it with his pads. Fail wins the draw cleanly to Hitchcock and Big Blue, the Big Blue will take possession. Rothwell back to Hitchcock, back to Rothwell, a good give and go, and now they have a three. On two up the ice, Rothwell drops it for Roddy. Roddy trying to force it across to Faya. Faya kept it alive momentarily. Rothwell steals it. Rothwell's gonna circle it back smartly to keep possession, overtime possession important, especially with the open ice. 
Hitchcock's draw pass almost stolen by Bowen, but Roddy collects it to Faya. Faya with a shot, save made by Redmond. Hitchcock, left point, Faya in front, Roddy backhand, save, rebound still loose, behind the net it goes. And it's collected by O'Leary, where now Beverly has the numbers. Hitchcock hustling to get back, it's a three on two. And a good denial by Rothwell, I believe. Hitchcock takes a hit, couldn't get it all the way to Rothwell. Bowen throws it in front of O'Leary. Bowen behind the net. Dangerous from back there. He's shown that all night. Gets it to the point. Almost came out of the zone. Did not. Stick save by, almost said Buffard. Papalardo. <laughs> now here is Simeone from the point. Save. Rebound loose. Nobody there for Beverly to punch it in. I don't think Papalardo knew where the rebound was. No penalty called there. Beverly's screaming for one as it bounces out of play. With 2.54 to go in the game, there are no shootouts, so this game could end in a tie. Dawson, there was really scary moments there over yeah. at Swampscott's area. Face-offs, very important, especially in overtime. Possession, the most important thing if you want to come away with the win. Hate wins the draw against Balgenkov. Tolosa chips it ahead for Balgenkov, who has space to roam. Greg Balgenkov up the right side is alone. Nobody with him, but he takes it on the solo rush. The shot saved by Redmond. Beverly now looking to counter. Freire stick checks it. Papalardo collects behind the net. Loses the handle, but Freire's right there. They have numbers on the break. Papalardo. Staying back now is Baljikov. Papalardo shoots, save made. 2.19 to go. Beverly now on the attack. Back and forth they go. Papalardo hustling to get back. And he does nicely with a nice stick check there. Baljikov Ooh, with a hit to get him off the puck. Hit. Papalardo now, probably gas, gets it to Freire. This is a one on one. Freire, the shot, saved by Redmond. Right into the low short side. Stolen by Roddy, has to wait for Ferrari to clear the zone. Now Roddy takes. Spin move around one. Roddy goes right to the net. And it is sticked away. 1.48 to go. And Beverly ices the puck. High octane overtime action. Four on four, two to two. Dawson, I know everybody from the Swamp Scott fan section to the, to the players on the bench and on the ice and us up on here at high and way above the ice. All of us got a sense of adrenaline as, yeah. as it got close to the net. I am losing my sense of words of how close we were. Still a minute and 42 left. Faya ties up the draw. Rothwell to the puck on the blue line. Roddy down low battling for it and it's free for Bowen. Bowen with 1.30 to go, 90 seconds left to go in the game. An open pass to Massa. Massa up the right side, looking for an angle to shoot. Fans on the shot originally. Massa. Now Rothwell collects in the corner. Faya trying to get it to Roddy, can't get it through originally, but the second effort works. Hitchcock now. Taps it for Roddy, Roddy's got some space to work, trying to find Rothwell, save, rebound, loose, still loose, oh it goes wide, one minute to go in overtime, Hitchcock to Rothwell, Rothwell, Faya, fans on the shot, didn't get enough on it, Roddy battling against the boards, Bowen collects, 44 seconds to go, cross the ice, this is O'Leary, one on one with Rothwell, O'Leary, the shot, saved by Papalardo. So close for Beverly, but yet so far. 30 seconds to go in overtime. Hitchcock looking for Faya. Faya was ready to go for a change. Miscommunication, 25 seconds to go. 20 seconds. Papalardo, they're going to have to hurry. 13 seconds. Hitchcock. To Freire, one last rush, 10 seconds left in overtime. Go, Freire, go, Freire, go. the shot, oh, oh, just wide. Five seconds, Freire battling for it on the apron and a whistle with 2.1 to go. Freire's had a couple of opportunities in overtime, just couldn't cash in. 2.1 to go. 
Prairie's going to take the face off. All Beverly has to do is really just tie it up, and this game will end in a tie. Prairie, and that's going to do it as that's going to end the game in an anticlimactic note as the Big Blue are going to end their season opener with a 2-2 two -to -two tie. That'll do it for us at Swamp Scott Big Blue Athletics from myself, Dawson DeBerry, my partner, Josh Harriman, and everyone, every one of us at Swamp Scott Big Blue Athletics. We thank you for joining us, and have a good night.